Ion exchange chromatography is a powerful technique capable of separating charge differences of a single amino acid at the surface of a folded protein. But with this power comes great responsibility. Treat the column right so it can be the separation champion your protein sample deserves. Let's take a look at the four most common mistakes users unknowingly make with their ion exchange column. Think all buffers are created the same? Think again. Buffers are critical to the separation of ion exchange because they ensure the mobile phase pH is preserved. The surface charge of the protein changes with pH shifts, therefore mobile phase pH control is critical to maintaining resolution. So what happens when we select a buffer that's not ideal for the column, such as phosphate? The negatively charged phosphate is repelled from the negatively charged cationic stationary phase. Instead of buffering, it's kept at bay and this can cause issues with method reproducibility. Our recommendation is to use neutral goods buffers for your method, or simply try our thermoscientific CX1 pH gradient buffers. They'll get you going in a jiffy with a truly linear pH gradient formation. Just dilute and run. These certified buffers are the ultimate teammate for your column. Is there a chance you could ever be too metal? Well, yes, especially when running salt-based separations. Salt buffers are a required part of ion exchange chromatography, but over time, the corrosive nature of salt can cause a lot of wear on HPLC systems. After years of use, what used to be a benign stainless steel system may now be an actual column killer. Metals such as iron, nickel, and chromium leach off the system and bind to the column resin. This takes capacity away from the column crippling its separation, altering selectivity, and hampering your resolution. One way to combat this is to implement a passivation schedule on your instrument and frequently flush your column offline from the HPLC to remove metals, or easily deploy the thermoscientific Vanquish UHPLC system, a high-powered instrument with all the best tools, fully biocompatible, and ready to handle your most challenging charge variant separation without shedding a metal. Even if we do think of our columns like a member of the family, we absolutely do not advise giving them baths. Never flush your column with 100% water. Low ionic strength buffers are the enemy of ion exchange columns. Always apply a minimum of 20 milli molar salt to the column. Without this, the resin will be stressed and not able to perform at peak capacity. Taking care of our columns means not adding solvent to the mobile phase. Using organic solvent and ion exchange chromatography is very rarely needed and not advised. If you do need to run with small amounts of organic solvent, make sure it's in both mobile phase A and B in equal parts. Well, that wraps up our tips for today. To learn specific details about our ion exchange columns, just give us a call. We're always here to help.